Hello honey buns and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to chat with you guys about skin. But not just any skin, my skin! Actually, that came off as way creepier than I meant it to. I'm sure that most of us out there have had a run-in with a dermatologist for one reason or another. Maybe it was for laser treatment or maybe to treat acne. For me, I was pretty lucky as a teenager and I had relatively clear skin all through high school with only the occasional day-ruining pimple here or there. But, like pineapple on a pizza, my 2020 was even worse than expected. In May of last year, I started having really bad multiple breakouts on my cheeks and forehead. My skin was super red and irritated, and the burning sensation eventually settled down, only to leave me with very sore red bumps all over the place. I didn't even want to leave my room for quite a while, and had trouble not hyper-focusing on my appearance. This whole saga could be another video entirely, so for now I'll just boil it down to a lot of research and a lot of trial and error. By early December, my skin was better and relatively under control. I was still getting some painful breakouts in specific areas of my face, however, so I thought it wouldn't hurt to finally get some professional advice. I searched online to try and find the best dermatologist that wasn't crazy far away or super expensive. Harder than you might think. However, I eventually found a company that was only an hour away, and they were rated 5 stars on Google. Now, I am but a baby tuber, and I don't want to risk starting beef with a whole ass company on only my second video. So, I'll just refer to this company as... Good Skin. So, Good Skin was looking pretty good. Five stars, heaps of glowing reviews, and not too expensive either. So, I booked my appointment, paid the fee, and answered the questionnaire and survey they sent me, just covering the typical COVID bases. I was pretty excited about my appointment and my fiancé and I used it as an excuse to go on a Christmas shopping spree in the city, which was really fun. For me, not my bank account. My appointment was in the late afternoon, so I took a break of spending my money to head over to the Good Skin Clinic. It was kind of a weird location, just a small office-like space in a dimly lit and mostly empty warehouse of sorts but my head was filled with a 5 star Google reviews and the possibility of clear skin. I was up for anything. Well, almost anything, as I was about to find out. The wait was short and they let us wait in this lobby area that had tea and cookies. I was ready to give it 5 stars just for that. But then the actual appointment started. The dermatologist took me in, sat me down in a desk chair like in a formal interview, and she didn't ask any questions about what I was struggling with, my skin type, or anything at all, really. Straight away, she just told me to tell her my skincare routine. Well, I was ready for that. So I started talking about my cleansing oil, weekly exfoliation, my targeted serums and hydrating moisturizers. Oh, and my daily sunscreen, of course. Feeling pretty proud about spilling all my internet gained knowledge, I watched in growing confusion as the dermatologist tutted and shook her head, looking utterly appalled. I'm going to be harsh here, she warned me. The reason your skin is bad is because of all these things you are doing to it. I was really confused at this point. I had thought that what I was doing was a pretty basic routine to keep my pores dirt free and my skin's natural barrier maintained. Although I was in for an even bigger shock when she followed it up with, no more moisturizer and no more sunscreen. Um, what? I'm sorry, I, I must have misheard. What? No more sunscreen? Uh, lady, do you know where we live? Australia, where a warmish day can have the UV rays shooting up to 11 and the sun slow boiling you like an egg. Through all of my deep dives and skincare research, never had I come across the advice to not wear sunscreen. I'd carefully tested and found a sunscreen that suited my skin type, 
was SPF 50 and was perfectly and certifiably safe. It was probably the best part of my routine. <sighs> but me being me, I didn't say any of this, of course. I am just a small, awkward bean, and my greatest skills involve rolling over and putting my entire faith into anyone with the slightest bit of authority. So I just dazedly nodded at this lady as she continued with her tirade of misinformation. You probably spent so much money on skincare products, she chastised. Which, okay, fair. Throw them all in the bin! Which, okay, no. All you need to do is use soap. Soap? What, what do you mean, what kind of soap? Any soap, your hand soap or bar soap, just a soap. A, a soap. Excuse me, I'm feeling a little faint all of a sudden. A soap? Hand soap? This lady, this dermatologist, wants me to rub hand soap into my face. And that's going to cure my breakouts? I was stunned. Even if I had wanted to argue, I just couldn't at this point. I was too busy staring at this lady as if she had grown a second head. Maybe that's what would happen to me if I followed this advice. Now, you may think I'm being dramatic, what with the frankly crazy sounding voice I am putting on for this dermatologist. And maybe it's not the best, but it could be that hand soap works for some people. But she wasn't done. Oh no. No, she had more amazing wisdom to pour upon me like caustic acid to my flesh. Once every hour, you need to vigorously scrub your face with a baby wipe to get rid of the excess oil. No patting, you have to rub. I don't know if any of you guys know anything about skin, but do I need to go off about this point, even? Rubbing my skin every hour with a wipe is supposed to help. Why don't I just file the pimple off with sandpaper while I'm at it? Then I can use the baby wipe to polish. But this systematic skin-destroying advice had all been leading up to the big showdown. The cell. This won't cure your skin, though. Well, throw me down, it won't. Crazy stuff. Do go on. If you want your problems to go away for good, you need to get invasive laser surgery. You'll need to do this every two weeks for the first six months, and then every month afterwards for the rest of your life. Because of course, invasive laser surgery is a lifelong commitment, you know. Mm, and how much does this treatment cost, insane-sounding dermatologist lady? $690 for every appointment. Okay. Okay, so. $690 for invasive laser surgery every two weeks for six months. I better go and get a refund from every store that I have ever been to in my entire 23 years of life. Who has that kind of money? It sure as hell isn't this childcare worker. Screw needing to feed myself or keep a roof over my head. Gotta go get those lasers. At this point, I was itching to leave. The dermatologist suggested setting up an appointment schedule for my first laser treatment and half out of my chair already, I politely declined. I think I'll just, uh... Try the hand soap and baby wipes first. You know, like any sane person with a shred of common sense would do. Man, when I tell you, I booked it out of that office like a bat out of hell. As soon as we were out of earshot, I started telling my fiancé all about the quote-unquote advice I have been given. And I'm pleased to say that he was just as appalled as I was. I couldn't believe it. Even recounting it all here still feels like some kind of weird fever dream. Now, I didn't take any of the advice. I didn't start rubbing hand soap over my face or scrubbing at it hourly with baby wipes. And I most certainly haven't gone back for my invasive lasers. 
I'm proud to report that I still have all of my skin. I did a bit of a further deep dive into the Good Skin Clinic later on, though, and I realised that my experience wasn't odd, comparatively. With new eyes, I realised that all the good reviews were talking about their laser treatments, like skin tag and mole removals. All of the acne-driven reviews said things like, They told me not to wear moisturiser or sunscreen. And I wasn't offered any practical advice apart from laser treatments with the company. Not only that, but I found out that none of the people at the Good Skin Clinic are actually doctors. Which tracks, as the lady I spoke to didn't do any kind of examination or even ask questions about my skin or my skin type, before launching into a hand soap speech. Another red flag was that the company seemed to come from the Donald Trump school of fake news. Every negative or one-star review was met with, We have no one with your name on our patient record, this is a fake review! Or, This review is not helpful and is made for malicious purposes. Take it down or we will continue the matter with our legal team. The whole thing just screamed, RUN! And came off as pretty scary, to be honest. Now, crazy, sketchy dermatologists aside, I know that a lot of people suffer with skin issues similar and even worse than what I was going through. It's a really big hit to your self-esteem when you hate the reflection you see in the mirror or when you feel embarrassed or ashamed when going out and feel like your blemishes are the only thing that people can see, that everyone will judge you for them or think you're ugly, that you need to wear makeup to even be passable. And while I am still struggling to work through some of those beliefs myself, I at least know and can tell you that they aren't true. Your acne, scars, or whatever it may be doesn't define you. You are not valued by what you look like, and the people that know you and care about you won't mind. Despite what happened to me at this particular clinic, I still encourage people to seek help from a professional. A proper medically trained dermatologist can help you find products, routines, or habits that will help you end your skin. If your mental health is suffering from it like mine is, there are plenty of people out there who can help you. And if at first you don't succeed... Well, then at least you get a pretty good story about it. Alright honey buns, that'll be it from me for this video. A big thank you for all the views, likes and subscribers I have since posting my first video. The support means the world to me and I hope you guys all enjoy this video as well. If you enjoyed this story then feel free to give that subscribe button a good old bap. Leave a like, comment or follow me on my social medias linked below if you wanna. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.